What's up guys, my name is Ace, and I've been getting a ton of requests lately to get into some more hardcore based tips because almost all of my videos are focused on core game modes. So today we're going to be looking at hardcore and I'm going to be sharing what the best SMG is to use in hardcore. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first stat that I want to cover with all these SMGs, and this is probably what most of you are here to see, is the one-shot kill ranges of all these SMGs. I also decided to throw the one-shot kill ranges with a suppressor for all of these SMGs, just to fill out the chart a little bit more. One thing to keep in mind is long barrel is completely useless for SMGs in hardcore game modes. It literally does nothing, because it only increases your minimum damage range, which is always going to be a two-shot kill range anyways, so it doesn't change anything whatsoever. So first up we have the CUDA, and the CUDA has an excellent one-shot kill range for hardcore, and that is 25 meters. Now if you pop a suppressor on there, it reduces it by 30%, and the same thing goes for all of the other SMGs with their suppressed range. So I'm not really going to talk about it too much. For each of the SMGs, just realize that your one-shot kill potential is reduced by 30% every time you put a suppressor on. Moving on to the VMP, it actually has half of the one-shot kill range of the CUDA at 12.5 meters, which isn't really that great. A lot of your gunfights are going to be beyond 12.5 meters, and therefore it's going to take you two shots to kill. But the VMP also does have a relatively high fire rate, and therefore firing two shots isn't really that big of a deal. And again, with a suppressor, 30% reduction. Next up we have the Weevil, which actually got a buff for Hardcore about two months ago. I think it was about two months ago. And it now has a one-shot kill range of 20 meters, which is still very good. So the Weevil is definitely a viable gun in hardcore game modes. For the Vesper, we actually have a pretty terrible one-shot kill range at 7.5 meters. This is basically shotgun range, which really sucks. But again, just like with the VMP, we have a super fast fire rate. So most of the time, it's not that big of a deal to pop that second shot into a guy. But if you get to those longer ranges, sometimes all you can really manage is to land the one shot and they're going to get away from you. Moving on to the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh actually has a one-shot kill range up to just under 19 meters. It's like 18.75 meters, which is very good, especially considering the fact that it is a four-round burst uh, SMG, and that burst fires fairly quickly. So it would actually take skill to only hit one out of your four shots in a burst with the Pharaoh. So most of the time, even well beyond this range, it is going to be a one-burst kill very easily with the Pharaoh. Moving on to the Razorback, it has an excellent one-shot kill potential. As you can see, it beats out everything we've looked at so far, even the CUDA. It doesn't really beat out the CUDA by too much, but it does by a little bit for sure. And finally, we have the HG40, which I know a lot of you guys don't have. I don't have myself, but I thought I would still include the stats here. It does have a great one-shot kill potential in Hardcore, same as the CUDA at 25 meters, which is excellent. So if you do have the HG40, it's not a bad gun to be using in Hardcore. So now that we've covered all of the one-shot kill ranges of the SMGs, let's move on to a few other stats. So first up, let's have a look at rate of fire. And rate of fire can be somewhat deceiving in hardcore because you don't have to fire that many shots to kill. Like at most, these SMGs are going to be a two-shot kill. So therefore, rate of fire isn't as big of a deal as the higher time to kill game modes like core, where you might have to hit five or six bullets to get a kill. But we'll cover it anyways here. So as you can see, the Vesper has the highest at 1200, VMP is 909, the Weevil and the Cuda actually have an identical rate of fire at 722. The Pharaoh has a rate of fire of 659, Razorback 625, and finally the HG40 with the lowest at 517. So that's the rate of fire, but in my mind, recoil is a little bit more important in hardcore game modes, because once you start to get to those longer ranges, you can still challenge those very easily with an SMG. You just have to realize that you need to hit two shots in order to get your kill. The more accurate your gun is, the easier it's going to be to hit those two shot kills at those really long ranges. So as you can see right here, I just brought the recoil plots. These were from Pro Batty on the Den Kirsten forums, which I will link down below if you want to go and see all of the recoil plots for every gun in the game. And one thing to consider with these recoil plots is they're great to look at and great for a reference, but keep in mind they don't really factor in how controllable the recoil is. Like the Weevil, for instance, according to the chart, it's the second to least accurate out of all of the SMGs. But in my experience, when you actually have that in game, it's very easy to predict and control that recoil because it's a very vertical sort of recoil and it just jumps side to side a little bit as it goes vertical. So I would personally put the Weevil as the second or third most accurate SMG in the game just based on my personal feel. So use this as a reference but realize it does come down to personal feel a little bit as well. 
So finally, the last set of stats I want to cover are sprint out and aim down sight time. I feel like these stats are very important in hardcore, especially if you're using an SMG and you're trying to rush around the map a little bit, because the person that gets on target fastest wins the gunfight in hardcore. And every millisecond counts when you run into those situations. So as you can see, the Razorback is the clear winner in this category. It is very, very fast at coming out of sprint and aiming down sight, which is excellent for hardcore game modes. The Weevil and the Pharaoh are also pretty good. And then finally, the CUDA, the VMP, the Vesper, and the HG40 actually have uh, assault rifle-like sprint out and aim down sight time now since the nerfs that happened. I think these nerfs happened like three or four months ago, quite a long time ago. So these ones aren't really the greatest for hardcore as far as sprint out and aim down sight time go. You have to be a little bit more cautious moving around the map because you can't just come out of sprint and instantly snap on a target with them. So in my mind, all of these stats that we've covered today are the most important stats to look at for hardcore game modes. A lot of the other stats are going to be identical with the SMG, so it's not really worth comparing them because they're all the same. And in my opinion, if you go through all of these stats here, the Razorback is the clear winner as the best gun in hardcore game modes. Now, some of it will come down to personal feel as well. Maybe you don't like the way the recoil works or you don't like the iron sights, uh, in which case I would just run a red dot anyways. That's how I like to run it. Uh, but the Razorback has the best one-shot kill range, it sprints out and aims down sight the fastest, it's got the best recoil pattern, its only downside is its moderate fire rate. And like I was saying, if you only need to hit one or two bullets, fire rate is almost irrelevant in hardcore. Now a few honorable mentions that I feel are still excellent SMGs in hardcore would be the Cuda, the Weevil, and the Pharaoh. These are all great, they all have great one-shot kill ranges, and they're all nicely balanced in other areas as well. One thing to keep in mind though is the CUDA, you better be running quick draw as well as fast hands if you plan on being relatively aggressive. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with me on what the best SMG in the game is. Do you think it's the Razorback or do you think it's actually something else? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.